So there's another type of angina. We have spoken about the stable one. We have spoken about the unstable angina. Then the next one, or the third, lastly one is what? Variant angina. So this variant angina is also known as what? Prince metals. There's an S. There's an added S. Prince metals angina. So this Prince metal angina is like, let me see. You know, like angina, we are saying like there's narrowing of the blood flow. But most of the times you say that it's due to maybe blood clots or deposition of fat on the walls of the blood vessel. But in this variant angina, we are saying there's just passing, like there's just passing of the blood vessel without any deposition of fat or blood or anything. The vessel like that is just constricting and narrowing just like that, right? So we're talking about it from the characteristics to the causes, to the symptoms, diagnosis, to the treatment, and possible complications of this word variant angina, also known as what Prince Metals angina. What's in the Prince Metals angina, also known as what variant angina, is a rare and severe form of angina pectoris. It is characterized by what a sudden and severe chest pain, often occurring at rest. So the person is at rest, but the problem is there, right? There could be a transient ST segment elevation on the electrocardiogram. Um, the coronary artery spasm is leading towards reduced blood flow to the heart muscles. You know the coronary the coronary artery actually supplies the heart. So because there's a spasm, there's now reduced blood flow to the heart muscles, right? Causes and risk factors. It could be due to what? Possibly due to what? Coronary artery spasm. So just like that, the coronary artery is becoming very small. Is narrowing okay um, endothelial dysfunction it could be due to endothelial dysfunction it could be due to what hyper contractility of the coronary arteries the coronary arteries all of a sudden they are just contracting like that it could be due to smoking it could be due to high cholesterol levels it could be due to a family history of it all right symptoms if a patient presents with this to the clinic what are the possible things that the clinic the patient is likely to tell you they tell you that they are having chest pain and when you try to take history on the onset of the chest pain they always say that what it just started just like that suddenly and the pain can be radiating to the arms the back or shoulder or jaw sorry back or jaw there'll be shortness of breath there'll be dizziness or lightheadedness there'll be fatigue right diagnosis that's when you want to confirm that this condition is actually there all right probably could do an ecg electrocardiogram you could do a stress test, you could do coronary angiography, you could do what? Cardiac catheterization. Either one of these could work. Treatment. Um, treatment could be by using drugs or telling the person to now modify their lifestyles and all that, right? Nitrates, like nitroglycerins can relieve the spasms. Calcium channel blockers can reduce the spasms. Beta blockers can reduce heart rate and blood pressure. Statins can lower the cholesterol levels in the blood. Smoking cessation and lifestyle, other lifestyle modifications like you start eating healthy and all the stuff, right? Start doing exercise, everything. Complications. If Prince Metal's angina is left there, it could result to myocardial infarction, cardiac arrhythmia, sudden cardiac death, all right? So guys, that's it for this Prince Metal's angina, also known as what variant angina. All right, spoke about the definition, characteristics, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and all.